Today I'm going to measure the titratable acidity, or TA, of a sample of wine. And what that means is the uh, amount of grams per liter of tartaric acid. So there's a few different acids in wine. Uh, the primary, wine, primary acid in a, a grape-based wine is tartaric acid. And you really want to make sure when you're starting your wine that your TA is within reason and also you want to make sure that your pH is within reason and they're not exactly correlated to each other. You could have a wine with a um, low pH which means generally means highly acidic and a low TA or vice versa which is a little um, unusual but is possible. Uh, so what you need to perform this test is a pH meter a um, standardized solution of sodium hydroxide. It doesn't really matter um, what the, how uh, diluted it is, as long as you know the, the dilution. So this one here is a 0.1N. Uh, you'll need a, a um, syringe with graduations on it. So I have a 10 milliliter syringe, or just another, like a pipette, some way you can measure the solution. And uh, that's really all you will need. And this is a little different than the, the method where you monitor the, the color change and use a phenolphthalein solution. And I generally prefer this way because it's easier to um, use a pH meter than it is to uh, try to visually detect a color change in a sample, especially with a sample of red wine. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is I will add a known amount of wine to my little other wine glass here. And the amount I'm going to choose is 15 milliliters. I'm just going to leave my pH meter dipped in here. So there's 10 milliliters. and there's 15 milliliters. And this is a Merlot that we're using. So if you look at the pH, we are at 3.4 right now. So next thing you wanna do then, is you wanna basically neutralize this sample, which is basically the same as what you're doing with the indicator solution color changing method, but we're doing it with a uh, pH meter again it's going to be a little bit more accurate and what I've done is um, I've, I've just calibrated my pH meter with a 7.0 buffer solution so you want to make sure that you do that before you start this all right so you can see on the pH meter the the pH is 3.4 of the wine sample and um, what I want to do is add our 0.1 N sodium hydroxide until the number on the pH meter reads 8.2. So I've added 10 milliliters and I'm going to just go ahead and add about um, five just to kind of get us a little higher. Swirl it up good. You can see the pH is rising. We'll add a little bit more. Swirl it up nice and good. So we're at 5.7. All right, and now we're getting close. We are getting very close. Eight point one, and when you get this close, it does not take much. So I'll just add a couple drops, and there we are. So eight point two, eight point three. We overshot a little bit, but we're just talking in the range of drops at this point. All right, so that is um, about nine point five 
milliliters of sodium hydroxide that it took to bring that sample up to a pH of 8.2. And from there what I need to do is a calculation. And the calculation for this is 75 So 75 times uh, the milliliters of sodium hydroxide used. So we use 9.5 times uh, the, the concentration of the sodium hydroxide. So in this case, it's 0.1. So say times 0.1 is 71.25 right now. And now we just want to divide that by the milliliters of our sample. So divided by 15 milliliters of wine. And what this gives us is 4.75, which is a little bit, I mean, a decent amount on the low side. Uh, realistically, we're gonna wanna be in about the 6.0 range. So it wouldn't hurt to add a little bit of um, tartaric acid to this wine if we want to. Uh, so that's really all there is to it. Um, what I'll probably do now is just run another test with the color changing method just to uh, verify the results are the same between the two methods. Uh, thanks for watching.